Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to our channel. Hey, if you're new here, please click that like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Well, today's video is all about troubleshooting your charging system. Yes, I know I already did one, but that was on a three phase system where this is just a phase. And the tools that we're gonna need to troubleshoot is quite simple. All you need is a multimeter. That's it. So what are we troubleshooting it on? What we got here is a 2003 Road King. And the complaint that the owner of this bike is having is that the battery keeps going dead. So we're gonna go through this step by step and get this all, the troubleshooting done and then go from there and figure out what he needs to fix it. So. When he rides his bike, it won't die on him because of a dead battery. So, hey, without any further ado, we're going to dig right into this. So, I'm going to disconnect the uh, trickle charger, and then we're going to do this step by step. Okay, so I got my trickle charger disconnected, and I got my multimeter set up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change this over the volts. You want to make sure when you change over the volts that you're on DC volts. Because if you're not on DC volts, you're on AC, you're not going to get the proper reading. So we're going to hit the red to the positive. And then the black to the negative. And with the bike just sitting here, we're at... 13.4 volts so we know the battery's good so what we're going to do is we're going to start the bike and see where we are volt wise uh, okay i don't know if you can hear me but is only uh, charging at 12.6 volts. So we got a problem. So what I already did is I unbolted the voltage uh, regulator or uh, rectifier, depending on what language you speak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug that from the stator and then we're gonna test our stator out. Sorry guys, one-handed working with the camera. So. Give me a second here, I'm gonna turn this around. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, here's our voltage regulator that bolts to the front. And here's the wire that goes to the stator. Now in order to measure that, we have to measure it in ohms. So now I'm gonna take my multimeter, change it from volts to ohms. And we're gonna take one side of each of the plug and connect it to our multimeter and we get zero ohms which is a good thing so now what we're going to do is going to hit the, the engine case and we've got ol which is perfect which means it's not shorted out to the engine case now we're going to go to the negative side of the battery And it's not shorted to ground either on either side. So that's good. Okay, so we know our stator is not grounded. And we know that it's not coming apart. But there's one last check we got to do on the stator is to check the AC voltage. So what we need to do is change this to voltage. Change our measurement from DC, hopefully you can see that, to AC. What's AC? AC stands for alternating current that the stator generates while the engine's running. And then that AC voltage goes into your voltage regulator slash rectifier, converts it over to DC to run your motorcycle and recharge your battery. Does that make sense to everybody? If it doesn't, go ahead and leave me a comment down below Maybe I could explain a little bit more in depth. So I gotta get the bike started. 
because we've got to measure it with the bike running on how many volts AC is being generated, if any, through that stator. Okay, on average, I'm going to change that back to DC. On average, our stator is making 43 volts, 42 to 43 volts AC, which is good. So the battery sitting idle with a charge, with a fresh charge on it, it's holding 13.4 volts, 13.6. Battery's good. The stator's good one thing left in the whole charging system that would be your voltage regulator slash rectifier so we're going to look at it and see if there's any damage to it all right guys so here it is oh look at that i don't know if you see if i get a good close-up all right so as you can see it's already broken that is damaged how that got damaged i don't know i don't i can't look into the past or the future or anything like that. I wish I could, because then I play Lotto and win all the time. And then I'd share it with everybody. Uh, but I've already troubleshot this. And I said, hey, it's another good video to do. We've already ordered the part. Uh, it took about a week and a half to get in. The owner says he replaced that voltage rectifier slash regulator roughly about a little while ago. I don't remember when he said it. But he said he bought it from Amazon. So I said to him, I says, you know, I could buy one from an aftermarket place for about $306. Or we could go direct to Harley and get it for $326. And I said, Harley, it's been in your Harley for a long time. Why don't we do that? This way you won't have to worry about it. He agreed. So we ordered one brand new from Harley Davidson. comes with all the wiring and all the terminations that you need so there's no splicing there's none of that it's just a bolt in bolt out and you're done all right so if you're curious the part number for this voltage regulator assembly is 47505-02 and uh, if you have an 03 road king that has a phased charging system that's the one you need so the wire for this comes up underneath the frame to here, up inside the battery compartment. So I'm going to have to remove that battery to get to those wires or continue chasing them down. So let me get that battery out and then we'll continue on together. Okay, I've chased the wires down. The ground is here where my finger is. See if I can get a better camera angle right there and then here's the, the positive side so this nut is a 3 8 and your ground is a 7 16 i've already loosened them so we could get those out and um, they're already terminated from harley so i don't have to get new terminate uh new eyelets to terminate the wires which i think is a good thing and then once we get all this done, we'll be able to start it up and uh, check the voltage at the battery while running. And we should be right around 14.2 to 14.6 volts. Okay, that's one wire. And the other wire, I gotta get off. And that's the other one. And just so you see where it comes out, comes down in front of the frame and we're just going to pull it out then the new one we're going to run that wire this same thing but what i'm going to do different 
is I am going to uh, zip tie the wire to the frame just so I know it doesn't get caught up on anything. And I'm going to save this for the user, but there's a really good look at that crack on the back of the voltage regulator. And as you can see here, it's leaking some sort of fluid. So, yeah, that thing was toast. So let me put this camera down. We're going to get this run and mounted and everything. All right. So, well, let's put you over here. There we go. So we're going to take the wire, feed it up, up over the frame. And underneath everything. But before I can bolt that up, I have to um, connect the, the stator wire. So let's do that over here. I don't need my multimeter here. Over there. Okay, so take our, our stator wire, connect it right there. That's connected. And then this all gets bolted right back in place. There we go. Make sure when you bolt this down, you're not pinching your wires because that would be bad. As uh, what they say in South Park, that'd be bad in okay? K. <laughs> and I'm just going to start the nuts for now. But you can, you see the idea that when you buy quality parts to do a quality job, things tend to always work out in your favor. Where sometimes when you buy parts from Amazon or uh, what's that other eBay or other places, I won't say they're not reputable, but it's not their specialty. They're just a warehouse. You tend to have problems with them in the future if you don't have them right away. All right, so back to running our wire. All right, so here's our wire. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to zip tie all this up against the frame. This comes up over the cross member here in the back. And it's unfortunate that these are going to get dirty. go and then up underneath inside our battery compartment and the yellow goes here and if you're not sure which one goes where they are different sized for at each relay the eyelets are so it makes life so much easier when putting it back together you, you know exactly where they go just by looking at them which is a plus so we're going to tighten these down Let's go by hand as far as we can. Hopefully I'm doing a better job with this camera and working one-handed. That I'm not quite used to, but I'll try to get used to it for you guys. Don't forget, guys. Everybody, please don't forget. Wednesday night, I, I do a live chat. This past Wednesday, I had Professional Monkey on. I'm trying to get somebody new on every week. Uh, I got nobody scheduled for this Wednesday because we're doing the 
sunglass giveaway live. You don't want to miss out on that, especially if you're entered into the sunglass giveaway. And uh, it's really easy. It doesn't cost a penny. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like the video for the sunglass giveaway, and uh, leave the comment, sunglasses. I'm tightening the, the, uh, other, the ground now for the voltage regulator. And I'm gonna reposition the hot side of the voltage regulator because I don't like how that wire is laying. On that relay, see how it's going down? I want it up here like that. So let me put this down, tighten it up, and we'll get back to it. Okay, I got all the wires run, and zip tied up down the bottom, and I've tightened up the voltage regulator with the two bolts right here, and those are 7 16 And there is no torque real value for those. Um, if I was to guess at a torque value, I would go with like 90 inch pounds, no more than that. Uh, so, you know, use your best judgment with tighten it down. What do I got left? We got to put the battery in, fire it up. I'm also going to connect his battery tender lead. And I believe this is for this one here is for heated gear. So I'm going to make sure I hook those up. And uh, we'll start it up, check the voltage at the battery, and go from there. Okay, everybody, I got everything connected. The bike is off. It is charging. You can see it's at 14.06 volts, which is a good sign. Now, we're going to start the bike up. And we're going to see where we are running. Okay, as you saw, the bike is running at 14.3 and a little bit and 14.4 and a little bit. So we know the battery is doing its job. We know the stator is doing its job and we know the voltage regulator is doing its job. Now that everybody's doing their job and this battery is charging while running and it won't go dead on him on the road, then we know the charging system now fixed. It is complete and it's going to work and work properly for him for years to come. All right, everybody. If you like this video and you like to see more videos like this, please give me a like and subscribe down at the bottom. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. This way you get notified every time I upload a video. Until the next one, live the best life you can. Ride often and ride hard. Like and subscribe to Doc Harley. Subscribe, Dr. Harley.